How are you? I hope you are doing well. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and this is Valentine's themed. Um, lots of pink. I'm actually wearing like this blush pink dress as well and I've got my hair in something a little bit different as well. Mm, feeling a bit cutesy. Um, the makeup it's simple but it looks complex and I hope I can simplify this enough that it's easy to replicate for you guys. So yeah, this is my Valentine's themed makeup tutorial and if you want to know how I achieved this look, then just keep watching and I'll show you how I did it. So starting off as always, I prime my eyes and I'm using a white concealer to just really help the colours pop no pun intended and then I move on to using the Feral Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade page me 143 and I'm using this as a secondary eyeshadow base to make the pink in this look really pop and also because liquid lipsticks are actually if they're eye safe they're really good for a long-lasting eyeshadow look because one it provides a tacky surface and two it provides just color extra color and I apply this around the eye just like a halo top and bottom blending out make sure you blend out and add little bits at a time then blend out etc etc because you don't want this to dry down in very obscure patterning around the eye I then take this eyeshadow from Black Rose Cosmetics in the shade Bambi and I'm applying this on the inner and outer corner as well as the crease blending up to the eyebrow and also quite sparingly on the lower lash line. Before I am finished with the shade Bambi, I then take Sugar Pills Taco, which is the most vibrant white eyeshadow I've ever used, and I put this on the center of the eye, this is where the glitter is going to go, and then I go back with the pink to make sure it's blended and how I want it. I then take the Lethal Cosmetics Chimera Liquid Lipstick in Abyss, and I take a very thin precision angled brush and I draw out the inner and outer corner wings. The reason why I like to use this liquid lipstick for an eyeliner is one because it's long lasting but also because it's the right consistency to get very precise details. I really like to use liquid lipsticks for precise detailing, it's kind of one of my little secrets. I'm now going to soften the lines of the black 
inner and outer corner and I'm going to take the shade Black Magic also from Black Rose Cosmetics and I'm going to just soften and smoke out these lines so they're not as harsh. I want the upper portion of the outer wing to be very harsh as well as the upper portion of the inner wing but I want everything else to just blend. So that's what I'm doing. Now we're on to the fun part, glitter. So I am putting glitter onto the center area where I put the white earlier. I think this just kind of really helps to showcase the glitter. And I blend this up to my eyebrow, kind of in this distorted line through the middle of the eye. And then I place glitter all over the lower area. I tried to make it look like I was crying tears. Glitter tears, that is. And yeah, I don't know. I'm, I just like how it looks. I then take the Jeffree Star Liquid Velour Lipstick in Drug Lord and I am applying this on the upper portion of the inner corner wing just to add a bit of a dramatic effect to it and also on my eye line. This is perfectly eye safe. It is then that dreaded time of makeup tutorials for the mascara face. I mean, I make silly faces throughout most of the makeup process, however, mascara kind of takes the cake. I go into full sugar mode. I then take a precision brush and the Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Buried, which is a deep berry pink, and I am drawing these hearts on my cheek. This process can be a little bit arduous and tedious and quite frustrating. However, the end result, it kind of justifies the process, and that's what matters, right? And then using that same shade of liquid lipstick from Black Moon Cosmetics, I am applying this to my lips. I love this color. I never thought I would love a pink lipstick. However, this one is definitely my favorite pink lipstick that I have ever had the pleasure of coming across. Highly recommend it.
so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked the makeup look. I haven't really done much in the way of themed makeup looks in the last like year or two. I'm gonna try and get back into that this year because I'm feeling inspired again, really getting myself back out there and um, yeah, just wanting to provide a variety of videos to you guys and I know a lot of you really miss um, more regular makeup tutorials so I promise I promise there will be more makeup tutorials on this channel this year as well as more of every video in general um, I'm waiting for the weather to cool down so I can do some vlogs that you guys really really want um, so I'm going to do some hiking vlogs and all of that it's been way too hot I mean we had three days of cooler weather and now it's back to Satan's butthole Back to heat waves of over 40 degrees Celsius. As usual, I'll put the Fahrenheit right here because it's nasty. If you ever think about coming to Australia in summer, don't. No. No. Don't do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to be here for every single video. And also hit that notification bell because... YouTube doesn't like to send out videos all that often, so hopefully that helps. Like this video if you like makeup tutorials and you want me to keep doing more of these. Comment down below if there's something you'd like to see on this channel, and if you have any ideas of makeup tutorials you would like to see, also leave that as a suggestion in the comment box down below. And most importantly, I hope you all have an amazing, wonderful, fantabulous day. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.